pixels. So in this week's video, I'm just going to be giving you five really awesome tips for you to make the best portfolio you've ever made. So let's jump right in. So before I start off, I just want to say as a designer, I totally know how hard it is to make something so personal. Um, I can't tell you the amount of times I've made my own portfolio design only to never go through with it. But there comes a time when you need to say, you know what, F self doubt, let me just go for it and show the world what I got, <laughs> basically. So um, if, you're, if you feel kind of unsure of your work or you don't feel like you're the best, there's always going to be a million reasons why you should do something. But don't listen to that, like just do it. Do what Nike says, just do it. So the first portfolio tip is to have a purpose. This will help guide you while you're mocking up the design. So I've come up with three portfolio types that I've seen. So the first portfolio type is the job seeking portfolio. This portfolio has one goal in mind, it's to get a job, okay? Um, so with this portfolio, you'll probably want to highlight your past work, your job experience. You'll also want to just kind of focus on your skills. And they tend to have a link where you can download a PDF version of um, a resume. So I think that's kind of maybe a nice thing to include if this is the portfolio type that you're looking into creating. So the second portfolio type is the reputation building portfolio. So with this portfolio type, it's basically to get your name out within your industry. So um, with this portfolio type, you'll generally want to, you know, really be active on social media. And I also think it would be really cool if you maybe started your own blog on um, what you do and just kind of putting your ideas out there. That would be a really nice um, addition to your portfolio where you can, you know, showcase your work and getting your opinions out there and interacting with your industry. Also, with the reputation building portfolio type, um, you'll also want to maybe showcase your design process, so how you thought and your thinking process. That'd be a really um, great thing to include in the reputation building portfolio. Okay, so the third portfolio type is the multi-purpose portfolio. So this is basically um, the two portfolio types, so the job seeking portfolio and the reputation building portfolio into one. It's also kind of in reference to a common thing that I see amongst my community is they would have, um, they would use different portfolio websites um, to create these different type of portfolios. So, you know, they might create their own personal portfolio that's mostly for job seeking. But then they'll also have a portfolio on Behance or use Dribbble as a way to just get their name out in within the industry. And of course they would use Twitter to, you know, interact with people in their industry. So I think that's a really, really great way to make your portfolio. Okay, so the second tip that I have for you guys is to know your clients. This one's important, especially if you want to get into freelance design. If you know your client, you kind of know how to maybe cater your portfolio to them. So let's say you want to primarily design websites for large corporations or businesses. You'd probably want to design your portfolio more on the conservative side. So just keeping that in mind when you're designing your portfolio, who your ideal client is, um, that's going to help you tremendously when you're you know, showing off your portfolio. <laughs> so the third portfolio tip that I have for you guys is to keep it simple. A great portfolio doesn't have to show your lifetime's worth of work. Keeping it simple is really aesthetically pleasing. Uh, maybe it's my personal preference only, but I find that less is always more. You can maybe even use the 80-20 rule in this case. 80% of your portfolio is visual, so it's showing all your work, and only 20% is text. So the fourth portfolio tip that I have for you guys is to keep it organized. Most designers aren't one trick ponies. We are very multifaceted. For example, I'm a web designer, graphic designer, and front end web developer. But I'm a writer, photographer, and videographer thanks to my blog, YouTube channel, and my job. So if you're a multifaceted designer like me, it'd be a really great idea for you to organize your portfolio based on the different types of work that you do and you know, maybe put sections to filter out um, certain types of work that way when a user clicks it they can only see maybe all your photography work for example so that would be a really great thing to include and the last tip is my favorite tip and that's to shamelessly self-promote 
Um, one of my favorite YouTubers, Shameless Maya, comes to mind and be shameless, okay? Don't be afraid to put yourself out there. There was a time where I was so scared to show off my skills and um, I know it's hard to believe now because I promote myself like crazy, but there was a time, believe it or not, where I was terrified. But I've learned that no matter how good your talents are, if no one's seeing it, it basically does not exist. And don't be scared about people criticizing your work or maybe saying mean things about it because there is 7 billion people in this world. There is bound to be one person to like your work. Don't be put off by that. It's inevitable that you're gonna grow. It's inevitable that you're gonna get better if you keep practicing. I have some embarrassing stories of me putting out my work, even though it's so bad. Looking back, all I could do is laugh about it, but um, I mean, I'd be lying if I said my first portfolio was amazing. It was literally the worst thing. And I even showed it to some really important people, so. <laughs> Let's just say I, you know what, at least I did it and I can laugh at it and look where I am now. I'm kind of doing what I, doing my thing, making my portfolios and even now, I mean, I'm not going to say it's perfect, but it's definitely better than it was um, a couple years ago. So um, yeah, be shameless, put yourself out there, um, showcase your work, tell your friends, tell your family about it. Um, you know, put yourself out there and only good things will come about it, I promise you. So I hope you like this video, I hope you find these tips useful. As always, check out my blog exopixel.com for more great content that's not necessarily on my YouTube channel. And yeah, so I hope you guys like this video and I'll see you in next week's video. Bye!